Welcome to School of Thumb, the series that asks plant experts to solve your common gardening guesswork. This episode, we're giving a patio a savvy makeover, adding eye-popping plants to do away with the everyday. Let's meet our experts from Queensland who've got the goods when it comes to gardening. Christian, the plant nursery natural. Zoe, the serene green stylist. And Wayne, the subtropical specialist. Welcome experts. Today we're talking to Vanessa, who has a plant-filled patio that needs a little love. Want to take a look? Go for it. This is a great little space you got out here. Thank you. Do you spend much time out here? I used to. Now that I've neglected it a little bit, not so much. OK, so you've stopped investing in the space yeah. and it stopped rewarding you as much as it used to. Yeah. I like the space, lots of different levels. Big collection of plants she's already got. It is such a promising space, but it does seem like it has some challenges. Like, yeah. what, what are the big challenges out here? Biggest challenge is this big gum tree. It does drop a lot of leaf litter and suck up a bit of nutrients from the ground, but it does bring a lot of wildlife. I like wildlife. the wildlife. Yeah. yeah. Nice fruit tree in the background there as well. There are some things really thriving. The mandarin, did you plant that? No, my mum planted the mandarin. It's magical. Yeah. Like, it's just, it looks fake. It's yeah. so happy. <laughs> well, that agave is doing great. The agave is doing really well. It's loving life. So what sort of vibe are you looking for out here? I'm looking for low maintenance, something to provide a bit of shape and structure to the garden, make it a bit more bright. Big and bold. Yeah, we want statement pieces. I love that. Yeah. OK, experts, we need your help. How do we green up this space with some shape and structure to make people gasp? So, what do you think? How does she take this garden from so-so to sensational? I mean, there's a lot of potential. The agave is absolutely loving life. Even saw some aloe vera in there that mm -hmm. looked like it was really healthy. The mandarin tree doing wonderfully with that gum next to it as well. I suspect she probably had one summer where she looked away for a few too many weeks and everything got a bit straggly, but it does feel like she can get that space back really easily. Definitely. Low maintenance plants will probably be key for this situation because some of the stuff in there is looking really healthy. So the plan is to get everything else looking the same. I'm sure all three of you have patio plants that you're really fond of. So what are some beautiful, structural and exciting looking plants that you might use in that space? There's such a big range of aloes and agave, so you can get different colours and textures and heights. They're dramatic looking plants, aren't they? They've yeah. got some structure to them. Exactly. What are some good complements to that shape then? Well, I'm thinking that sloping area. Yeah. I'd be putting in some plants in pots amongst the roots that would cascade down and complement that bank. Even something as simple as native violet. Put it in pots and let it do its own thing. Lovely. It'll really help tidy up that space as well. It'll go from having a lot of fallen debris, bark, leaves, to having a really nice, vibrant plant in there and some really good colour. All right, so we've got some really different, lovely shapes to combine. Zoe, will you join me at the workbench to pick out some favourites? Sure thing. Let's do it. So, Zoe, Vanessa wants shape and structure, but also low maintenance. What ideas have you got? So I thought we'd stick with what's already working well in her garden. So we've got the agaves. They were thriving. So we thought we'd just bring more of that in. It gives you some structure, gives you some texture, bright, bold colours. They produce pups, so you get more from them the more you love them. Is that what you call their babies? Yes. Pups. Pups. That's adorable. So next I thought would be the aloe. So she had an aloe vera in her garden that was just doing really well. It was loving life. Aloe is such a big family. So as you can see, they do flower as well and you get different colours on different varieties. So you get that pop of colour, you get the height and they're just great. Look at that texture. It's such a great shape to this leaf. I love it. Now, this is not a vera, so don't rub it on your sunburn. Just... No, not that particular one. It's just beautiful. Yeah, and it gives you a bit of height as well. So again, great pick. Finally, you got your zygo cactus. So a bit of a trailing form, mm -hmm. but gives you a lot of flower during winter. So it gives you a bit of colour. They're absolutely amazing. And they're good for those shadier spots of the garden. Garden. The three all together, really in keeping, all low maintenance and just complement each other for their characteristics. Yeah, any one of them would be gorgeous on its own. Together, spectacular. Exactly. Well, Vanessa, with all these savvy styling tips, you're sure to create the perfect patio. Can't wait to see how it turns out. 
for our next lesson at School of Thumb, we meet Anna and help turn her plain poolside into a peaceful paradise. For more inspiration, visit us on our socials and keep an eye on your local nursery. They could be running a School of Thumb forum on your own doorstep. Till next time, happy growing, Australia.